The intention behind the painting called The Guardians is the depiction of women as elevated, as, um, as a, you know, sort of powerful and as witnesses to history, as witnesses to culture, as if familiar faces that connect with the viewer, that the viewer can identify with. They're Middle Eastern, they are from the region, they all share culture and heritage and history, uh, religions, all kinds of things. They all live in very similar communities. They, there's a lot of in, in common. There's music, there's the way they dress, there is the way, um, you know, the, the way community works. I think it's great to sort of to, to put them in that light because they have created the culture, they have nurtured the culture, they have, you know, protected it, they have guarded it. That's why I've called it the Guardians because they've guarded it for centuries. Since the beginning of time, they've, they've moved it forward. It was important to me to portray Arab or Gulf countries as women because um, because they are so often de depicted in a negative light. Depicting women as something other than the victim is very important. Uh, or depicting countries as women in a powerful way is very important as well. I've sort of created the painting in order to dismantle the idea that um, everything is very separate, everything, every country is very separate from the other, every culture is very separate from the other, because they're not, they're very similar. And people love to take pride in their countries. It's good to love your country, it's good to love where you come from, it's amazing. But you can't go around and saying that my country is better than yours, and stuff like that, because everybody can say that, and it's just not true. Yeah, I think it, unity is the main intention behind the painting. And bringing cultures together and blurring the lines between uh, the countries or, or, you know, whatever people have built that to make them think that they're better than other countries, whether it's wealth or um, history, wars they've won, whatever it is. It's all, you know, we're all in the same blender, is what I always say. <laughs> We've had a lot of inventions that were claimed by other cultures and people don't know about them. And just like the astrolope, for example. Who knew that the astrolope is after Maryam Nostarlobi, you know? Right? She's, she's an Arab inventor and she, she did that and people don't really hear about it much. The first university in the world was founded by Fatima al-Fahri in Fas in Maghreb, in Morocco. And, um, and there are just like, these are like two examples of like thousands and thousands and thousands of names that are incredible. And so you look through the history and be strong and be yourself and be proud of where you come from and be proud of your heritage because you wouldn't exist without your heritage because your heritage is important because knowing what happened in the past will lead you to a better future always. I love that it, it, uh, it draws me in. I love that I have a deep connection with it. It's maybe my perspective of the painting is different from others because I'm, I've, I made it and I've sat there for weeks just like really close with a small brush painting every detail of it. But I think it's a familiar painting. I think that it is prideful. I think it makes me happy because seeing a group of women that are so obviously powerful, so obviously prideful, so obviously elevated and um, unified, you know, are just standing there, it makes me happy. It's something that I want to see repeated. It's something that I want to see created in the world. I'm tired of seeing stuff that are, you know, not very appealing in terms of, you know, the representation of women. So I'm creating something that is, that would make people proud, that would make you know, a, a, a small, a little girl to think that, you know, this is how women are, you know, this is how it should be. <laughs>